Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I am going to show you guys how to make a deco edge ruler. This is the one by We Are Memory Keepers. They usually come in a pack of three. They're usually pretty expensive. This is pretty much the only one that anyone uses this side here. And I'll show you what it looks like when you tear. There is a trick to these. Do the shorter side with the ruler part and then pull with the longer side. And it makes a small decal edge like this. Now, <clears throat> I made this one using a wood burning tool. You gotta hold it down with pressure. And these make longer edges, more like this side of the tool. I'll show you what that looks like also. Now, these rulers are a bit thicker. See, that's what it, the larger edge looks like. So, <clears throat> comparatively, it's a little smaller than the other edge, but larger than that edge. Now, I'm going to try to do a smaller edge on this side using the wood burning tool. Now, if I can. Uh, I've seen people use uh, uh, pliers and stuff like that on them, but I, I didn't couldn't figure out how to do it without a sharp edge. So, so it just rounds the edge. So I'm just barely. going over it so it creates these small little grooves but rounds them now I've got another plastic ruler here I'm going to try the same method using the end of a hot glue gun here in just a minute to see if that works Yeah, this is making smaller edges. It's relatively quick. Just a couple passes is all it takes. Alright, go back over and round off any kind of squared looking edges. Now these get pretty hot so you have to be careful with them. So you can go as pretty much as deep or as shallow as you want to. And I'm standing up to do this rather than sitting down. So I see I've just got a shallow edge on here. Okay. Now, let me unplug this right quick. <clears throat> so that I can plug 
plug in my glue gun. I'm going to move that off to the side. I've got a little stand for it to uh, rest on so it can cool down and not burn anything else. Because I don't know if that will work. So let's see what the edge of this one looks like when ripped. Almost identical to the first edge. See, there's the first edge, and there's the second edge. Excellent. Excellent. But if you don't have a wood burning tool, now mind you, that wood burning tool I bought, I got from the dollar store. It was uh, $13. So not too bad. Um, I bought it simply because I, I wanted to see if it would work on wood. But um, since it heats up, I figured it would work on plastic. Now I don't know if the tip of this actually will get warm if there's no glue in it. So I'm not sure. I've never used this glue gun before. I have uh, a cordless glue gun that I use with actual glue in it. <clears throat> However, if you guys do not want to go to the trouble of doing this, I'm sending this one to Rhoda. Because she doesn't have a deco edge ruler. Um, but if you guys would like me to make you one, uh, just leave me a comment below. That you would like one and I can go to the dollar store and get a, a some more plastic rulers and make you guys one and send it to you in happy mail but um sorry I don't really have yeah it's getting warm I don't have feeling in my fingertips so I couldn't I didn't know if it was working so let's see if that will get hot enough to melt. It does not. Now, like I said, I've seen people do, you know, use pliers on them to do that. But I couldn't figure out how to do it with a sharp edge. But, um, it is highly possible that you might be able to heat it up enough, maybe with a lighter. To do that, I've got a lighter around here somewhere. In my wax stuff here. Uh, let me see. Oops. And I don't know if that works or not either. Well, it'll create a weird edge. Oh yeah, there we go. It's crinkling. Now it may not. Oh. You know provide exact crinkles but that actually does a pretty decent job we'll see what the what the paper looks like when it's done
Alright, so it definitely left a deckled looking edge, so let's check the paper now. Okay, make sure it's cooled off a bit. There you go. So a lighter works, guys, to create a deckled edge on your ruler. And it looks very similar to the edge on the other one. Just kind of move it back and forth until it curls up a bit. But, yeah, I'd have to say both were a success and the lighter is so much quicker to do. So, yeah, just a quick tutorial to show you guys how to make a deco edge ruler in case you don't have one so a lighter or a wood burning tool works perfectly all right guys so when we come back we're going to do some mixed media backgrounds uh just using up some i've got this some it's called sparkle paste it's uh, like modeling paste but it's glittery i've never used it before so we're going to try it out i've got some like this blue colored metallic wax needs to be used I, I bought it by accident I thought it was gold and it wasn't I've got this one called chocolate fudge which is a gilding uh, not gilding a uh, modeling paste and it smells just like brownies I got those from little birdie crafts I got regular modeling paste by Liquitex and I've got some uh, these metallic paints so one is called, what's it called, Tawny Glint, which is kind of a, um, kind of a coppery color, and then Fired Brick, which is more of a coral color. And lo and behold, I could not find my spatula that I use, so I'm going to use um, this to get it out with. And then this little scraper thingy to see if it'll go through a stencil because it's relatively flat and has a handle on it. I don't know. Uh, we're also going to use some distress inks and stuff to make inky backgrounds and stuff with and use stencils and whatnot. But I just wanted to show you guys that because I've been wanting to do that for a while. I've been promising that I would do it. So, alright guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys back here again really soon. Bye!